Hello everyone, welcome to Apple One to One, where you get to have the most amazing training tutorials right here on the YouTube channel. My name is Will, former Apple Creative, and we're here to talk about table of contents. So inside of Apple Pages, you actually have the ability to do a table of contents. So I wanted to show you real quick is that this was something that's been possible to do in even Word, but it wasn't very well known how to do it. So again, a table of contents is an organized listing of your document, chapters, sections, and often figures clearly labeled by your page number. So that's what we're gonna create right here. I thought I'd figure I'd let you know the definition of a table of contents, because maybe you don't know. So I already opened up a template. Uh, if you go into File New, you will see there are templates already set up. And I would recommend using one of these reports because I think it's gonna add a few things that you don't have to do at the end of the day. For example, it has right down here the title already down here on the bottom and it's got the page number so are th there are things already here that you can have set up ready to go and i think it might be easier so on page one typically you don't do that that's usually where the title is so we're going to scroll down to page two and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up our view here and i'm going to show the page thumbnails all right so we're going to have that ready to go so i think it'd be good to see that as well there's also something called table of contents which is actually on the sidebar here so you can actually move down the document using that feature. All right, so already there's already a heading created and this is gonna require us to use the paragraph styles. We've talked about this in other videos, so please go check out like one of our first pages videos. I definitely talked about the paragraph styles. I think it'd be good to do that. And while you're doing that, subscribe to our content and give us a like, we do appreciate it. Now, let's talk about heading here. So I'm gonna call this chapter one, where it's already highlighted, we already have the color. I'm not gonna to go too much into formatting, we've talked about that before. Really the idea is just to go over the table of contents. So here we are at chapter one. I'm gonna go down, and I'm just gonna hit return a few times, just pretending we're on different pages here, just to, to get the experience. What I have to do is back at the paragraph styles, I have to choose heading because we have to have the same heading if we're going to be doing a table of contents. So there it is. It added this line right here that's actually built into the document. I'm going to call this chapter two. Spelling does matter, everybody. All right. And then if I wanted to keep going, I could keep hitting return. But to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to add something called a page break. That is located under insert, page break. And it shot me right down to the next page because page breaks are a way to stop something within, if you notice in books, sometimes it doesn't go to the very end of the actual page. So a page break is added in order to shift to the next thing. So we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna to go to heading. I'm gonna hit chapter three. And just so I'm gonna hit return, it adds back to the body. And just for sake, I'm gonna add another page break and then we're gonna do one more. And then I'm gonna to go to here, heading, and then chapter five. I'm just, wow, spelling is terrible. Chapter five. All right, I'm just gonna, just showing you that we have different page breaks. Well, we'll do this chapter four because I'm a, not thinking. All right, so we have our different ones and now it's time to add the table of contents now i don't want to add table of contents are typically on its own page so we enter the page break i'm going to go to insert let's make sure you click inside it. make sure you have your, have your cursor right here on the document you go to insert table of contents document it's now generating the table of contents and there it is it's actually using some text if you go to the next page the text that's right here is actually coming directly up here so it's automatically grabbing that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually get rid of that because that's actually not necessary. Uh, obviously this is all default text, but here's the idea. You have chapter one, chapter two, and the page numbers are right there. Now you could go to text and we could match uh, what what you created. So you could create your, you could go to here, change the font around, medium text, so whatever you wanna do. And the table of contents is separated into two areas of range the entire document or this section. So what is a section? Well, if I go down to chapter two, let's say that if I insert, I'm gonna click inside here. If I go to insert section break, section break is actually, if there are different sections of your document, what this will do is it'll actually separate the chapter markers. So if I go to entire document, it changes section, 
as you can see, it's shifted, and now the section I just added in there is not part of this. Well, what's the value of that? Well, I'll give you an example. If you're going to use something like footnotes, and footnotes don't need to be a part of this chapter area, as an example, that's where a section break could come in. So you could add, at the very end of your document, you could add a section break and do your footnotes, and that way it's not included up here. So there is a reason for that. Most people, I'm going to undo that, most people will not necessarily need to do that, but I think it's important to know the difference. So when you're making a table of contents, by the way, you don't need to do this in the beginning. You could do this at the very end of when you're making it. It's almost like the table of contents should be last. But that's pretty much how you make a table of contents. It's really not that hard. Uh, really, you have to understand what adding a page break is. I think that's important to know. Uh, it's important to know the paragraph styles. That's how it actually grabs that. So it's important to know that you have to use paragraph styles for this to work. And there's even a footnote section right here if you want one. So table contents are really easy to add to any pages document. I hope this is a little helpful for you. It's a quick video. I wanted you to just see how to do it not that hard. Just make sure you use your page breaks and make sure you use your paragraph styles. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you reaching out and looking at all of our content, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.